Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. All right, so here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas. Knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? Or tail of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Adesanya is 10 years his senior. He will have an eight inch reach advantage. All right, now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting! Out of the blue corner! This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 21 wins, one loss. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Israel, the last style bender, Adesanya! And now it is the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 162 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bam. UFC belt on the line, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. Underway, and you hate to call any fighter on the UFC roster a specialist, but on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five tool play. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is, he knows where the fight needs to be, he knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Still nice body kick land. Whiffs on that offering. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. 
All right, early round one, we'll see if he can use that jab and try to keep his opponent on the outside. Must be nice for these long fighters, huh? I mean, they are... That one appeared to stun him. knee lands to the body by the taller fight. Big ball to punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, nice right hand. Oh, beautiful display on the feet there by the champ Adesanya. You haven't seen many guys that have come from straight kickboxing. It does as well as the last style bender. He's a fantastic fighter, and that's why he's skyrocketing to the top of the division. Well, 25 total strikes have now landed for the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. Two minutes have expired off the round one clock here. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, and he caught the kick. Oh, nice counter jab there. That shot blocked by Adesanya. Another shot lands upstairs. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. And he landed the right hand there. Just missed with the left hand. His opponent still stands. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. It might not be over now. It's got to be over very soon. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. Oh, shot there, DC. I'm not sure how he stayed upright. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talk to your toughness. Oh, that right hand is on point. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Gets up again here, but hurting. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. Slips the punch. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Throws the right hand there. Well, he talks about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Shot is blocked there by Adesanya. He loaded up there on that high kick. Oh, straight right. 45 seconds remain in the round. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Big kick. Oh, worked hard to get up again, but he looks like he's compromised. Nice punch, man. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Oh! Oh! And what a round! All right, well, that's the end of the round, so the location is okay, the cut on the cheek, but... That is some serious blood trickling out of that cut there. You gotta think maybe at some point they call the doctor in and if he doesn't like what he sees, maybe they stop this fight. All right, so a huge round for him there. Nearly had him out of there with the head kick. Did get the knockdown. Talk us through the replay. He got the knockdown. He won the round. He did everything correct. The only thing he didn't do is finish the fight. But if he continues down the path, if he continues to do the exact same thing as he did before, he will get that finish. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. 
Adesanya gets caught with that punch. Oh, and yet another knee finds the target. So a huge moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. And he is back up to his feet. That right hand in square. Blocks the shot. Oh, beautiful strike there. Oh, there as he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got it hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, nice right hand. It's such a fast leg kick. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Trying to kick the leg out. Lands the right hand. Into that kick. Liver kick. Just over three minutes to go. <laughs> Big punch man through the middle. Just missing on the high kick there. And they separate. Beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Head kick lands. Once again, looking for that highlight reel KO with that front kick. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Man, look at Adesanya putting his words into action. I don't throw and hope, I aim and fire. The accuracy is just on a completely different level, and not surprising that he has drawn comparisons to the consensus greatest middleweight champion in UFC history, the great Anderson the Spider Silver. Big head kick. Trying to hammer that lead leg. And he continues to work the body here. Oh, big one land. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Back to the feet. Huge block there. He's back in the push position. This is where he has done a ton of good work here. Punch, punch, punch to the head from the twins. Great punch. Oh. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this one. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Celebration is on for the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the baddest man on the planet, and your winner, yes, by knockout here tonight. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision.
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 20 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Israel. about this we have a new ufc heavyweight champion of the world i think that guy beats daniel cormier i, think I mean he does. this guy beats anybody i'm telling you right now he is the king of the world for a reason the number one heavyweight in the world a guy that possesses knockout power confidence